In this example, we'll be using practice exercise 12.4b that can be found in your textbook on page 564. I will demonstrate how we calculate a partner bonus, how we determine who receives the bonus, and how to journalize the entry. The example tells us that Hiro has a capital balance of $75,000 after adjusting assets to fair market value. Marone contributes $25,000 in order to receive a 40% interest in a new partnership with Hiro. Please note this very important sentence here. It tells us that our new partner is contributing $25,000, which means that the new partner is giving $25,000 directly to the partnership. So this partner is being added to the business by contributing assets directly to the business. He is not giving $25,000 to Hiro for 40% in percent interest of Hiro's capital balance. He wants 40% interest of the entire partnership value. So we will start by entering in our existing partner's capital balance, which the problem tells us was $75,000. We're going to add to that our new partner's contribution of $25,000 to the partnership. We want to calculate now the total value of this new partnership. And we do that by simply adding together the existing partner's capital balance and the new partner's contribution to the business. So in total, this new partnership has a value worth $100,000. Our new partner said that they would give $25,000 to the business in order to get 40% of the total value of that business. We will then calculate how much our new partner will have as a capital balance. And we do that by simply taking the total value of the business, $100,000, and multiplying it by the interest that our new partner wants which is 40%. That shows that there is a 40% $40,000 capital balance for Marone. In order to calculate the bonus and determine who receives the bonus, we need to compare Marone's capital balance to Marone's contribution of $25,000. Marone only had to give $25,000 in the business in order to get $40,000 in capital. So when we subtract Marone's capital balance minus his contribution, we come up with $15,000, which means that it's a positive number when we subtract the two that Marone receives the bonus. Marone only had to give $25,000 to the business in order to receive back $40,000 in capital. Typically this happens when an existing partner is very interested in bringing this new partner into the partnership. So Hiro might feel that Marone has a very important skill set that will add a lot of value to the business in the future. Therefore, Hiro is willing to give Marone a bonus in order for him to come on to the business. How we would journalize this is that we would debit cash the total amount that Marone is giving, which in this case is $25,000. We would then debit 
Cairo's capital balance for the $15,000 bonus amount. Cairo is basically giving Marone some of their capital. And then we would credit our new partner's capital balance for the total $45,000 thousand dollars that they will now receive as a capital balance based upon how much they contributed in assets, the 25000 and the bonus they received from the existing partner, the 15000 from Hiro.